We'll be talking about the laryngotracheobronchitis. The word is quite long, I know. So let me actually come here so that you guys will see everything I'm talking about. So this is the word I'm talking about, laryngotracheobronchitis. Now, if you have a word like this, try to break it down. Breaking this word down, I can see itis. Anytime you see itis attached to any word, just know that what it is inflammation of that structure. Now, try to break out the anatomical names embedded in what laryngotracheobronchitis. I can see the larynx, which is laryngo. I can see the trachea, which is tracheo. I can see the bronchi, which is still bronchi. Okay, so that means there's inflammation of the larynx, the trachea, and the bronchus. Okay, so let's look at the laryngotracheobronchitis. Um, we we'll talk about the definition, we we'll talk about the causes, we we'll talk about the symptoms, we'll talk about the treatment, complications, preventions, and all that. So, laryngotracheobronchitis. We we'll said that laryngotracheobronchitis is also known as what? Croup. Okay, so if you see people just avoiding this long word to just say croup, they still mean what? Laryngotracheobronchitis. It is actually respiratory illness that affects the larynx the trachea, and the bronchi is commonly seen in children under the age of five. Okay, causes. What could make the larynx, trachea, and bronchus actually become inflamed? It could be due to some viral infections like what? Parainfluenza infections. It could be influenza infections. It could be what? Adenovirus infections. It could be bacterial infections like what? Streptococcus, staphylococcus. It could be due to allergies. It could be due to some environmental factors like pollution or tobacco smoke, like somebody who smokes, right? Then symptoms. If the larynx is affected, larynx is not here. Let me see it. If the larynx is affected, the trachea is affected. Okay, that's croup, right? How would the patient present? The patient will be having a hoarseness of voice. That's because of what? The involvement of the larynx because the larynx is a voice box the larynx is the reason how my larynx is made is the reason why i'm talking with a bass voice do you understand and when i talk like this for a long time my voice will kind of like change okay like let me see if i record 100 videos in a day my voice will not be the same thing throughout now i'm just waking up so i have a deep voice and all that if i record for a long time my voice will kind of like start getting seen and all that that's when i stop okay so um hoarseness of voice You'll be backing cough like <coughs> right you're coughing i backing like a dog okay there'll be stridor that's a high pitch sound while breathing in like <gasps> do you understand you'll be breathing and making noise and all that then there'll be difficulty breathing there'll be wheezing there'll be apnea that's pauses in breathing then treatment this uh crazy condition is affecting three structures in the body so you need to actually what be careful with it okay so supportive care could include just ask the person to rest and rehydrate their self. Okay, they should hydrate their self. Then humidification. I use humidifiers, right? Then medications. Uh, you can use medications like what? Corticosteroids and what? Epinephrine for severe cases. Then you can also use antibiotics if the bacterial infection is what? Suspected, right? Then oxygen therapy is also what can be used if necessary. Then complications right now, it could lead to respiratory failure. It could lead to what airway obstructions. It could lead to what pneumonia. It could lead to what bronchiolitis. Now complications is more of like, okay, um, this disease condition, if I don't manage it quick or if left untreated, it results in some other adverse stops, okay? So that's it. Then, talking about prevention, of course, we said that the bulk of the causes is from infections. And infections is usually because of poor hygiene. So just practice a good hygiene to help you. Then if it is something that you are allergic to, that when you sense it, it's not cause all these problems, you just avoid it, okay? So avoid the allergens or irritants. Then stay up to date on vaccinations. So if you're in an area where you are prone to being infected, you can be having your vaccinations and all that, okay? Then 
you manage allergies and asthma okay so managing allergies like desensitization so you desensitize okay and if you suspect that somebody has what laryngotracheobronchitis um okay they might explain well this uh, this is just from the symptoms okay so that's it about laryngotracheobronchitis also known as what croup also known as croup okay then we spoke about the causes, symptoms, treatments, and everything that you guys need to know.